So that means we have the following. So we have natural log of y equals natural log of x to the x, which is equal to x times the natural log of x by you know by our logarithm rule that we just talked about. But this is really good news because we know how to take the derivative of both sides of the equation there. We know how to take the derivative of natural log of y using the chain rule and x times natural log of x using the product rule. So let's see, we'll have derivative of natural log of y must be equal to derivative of x natural log of x. And now we're pretty good to go. So derivative of natural log of y will be y prime over y. So why is that? Because the derivative of the log takes the reciprocal of whatever's inside, one over y. But then by the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is y prime. So that's that. And then we have to take the derivative of x natural log of x. That has to use the product rule, where our two functions are x and natural log of x. So derivative of x is simply one. Multiply that by natural log of x plus x times the derivative of natural log of x, which is one over x. So that's our product rule. But uh, like, check it out. That simplifies pretty quickly to natural log of x plus one. But now what we want to do from there is solve for y prime. So we have y prime equals, I'm going to write this as natural log of x plus one times y. But we really want everything in terms of x. When doing like general implicit derivatives, that's impossible. But that's not what we're doing here. We started with this y equals natural log of x, so we know how to write y in terms of x, we know that. And so we can simply just make this substitution again. So we have y prime is equal to natural log of x plus one times x to the x. And that would be it, that would be our derivative of our crazy looking function where we have a variable in the base and a variable in the exponent. 